Alright, hello everybody. Hitchup here. Welcome. We got the caterpillar back here and this guy. Time to do, uh, store number two to finish this contract. Uh, so this, I guess, will be part two, so to speak. It'll be a separate video. Other videos already uploaded, so this is going to be the completion of it. So we got to head down to the port again to pick up some, uh, in Bennington to go pick up some oversized cargo and then we get to drive that over to Rutland again this looks like it's gonna be another one that's fairly simple looks like once we get to Rutland we're gonna get off at the uh, first exit and go across the bridge and kinda go straight across town some side road it looks like it looks like it is paved but Ooh. Not entirely sure, but I'm going to try and uh, regain control of this uh, truck driving down the highway. And I switched a lot of these to like highway tires and balanced gearboxes too, so it should be better. But I'll see you when we're down at the port for a second with them both loaded up. All right, we're all loaded up here and uh, at the port with our oversized cargo, so head out. I think we should have enough time. We should be able to uh, kind of drive to Rutland with this guy and then make the second delivery with the Caterpillar to complete the contract. We're just gonna head on down, down the road. Try not to crash this time. Microphone's a little farther away, but it sounded like you could still hear me, so maybe that will deter on some of the. chatter from the joystick. Yep. I'm not doing anything crazy here. We gotta make it, these people are expecting us. Actually, I am gonna... I am gonna stop the gas. I don't think we do pass one. We didn't last time. And we're going a completely different direction this time. Once we get into Rutland, at least. Gotta stop playing this game when I'm tired. I don't know if any of you uh, picked up on in the very beginning when we first started taking off with this guy down to the port. Uh, I started talking and taking off, and I didn't even get a trailer, so I got part way there, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I kinda need a trailer. 
Then in the caterpillar on the way down there, I dozed off and went off the road again, but luckily not too bad, and not with any cargo, so. That was easily fixed. doesn't like this bridge either. Well, the out of it's easier to go in in car to do to go across that bridge. Any of the bridges that have whatever a side or totally enclosed basically. Freaks out the camera. I keep forgetting how far it is. Because even after we get on the highway, we get a tiny bit of a cruise to get to the entrance to the Rodman. I'm thinking this may be m at least momentarily last mission for this truck too. This truck is really, really good, but I think uh, I think after this mission I'll sell it and get rid of it to see if there's any other trucks I might want to use. And this this one will be one that may come back to, but. I either gotta start using it more or whatever, because I don't use it enough. So basically I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it and if it uh has a moderately high to anything download file size, I'm just gonna get rid of it for now. Try something else. Kinda dig most all the trucks I got now though, but Couple other ones I could get rid of. One of the couple of the scout vehicles that I'd never use. Like the Dodge DE250. It's like that's a really good truck too, but I never use it anymore. That's a really solid, very solid truck, but I don't ever use it. It's been disabled for kind of a long time. Alright, so here we go at the gateway to whatchamacallit. So we'll see you guys in a minute when we're uh, delivering the caterpillar. So I'm going to get this guy over there to Rutland and deliver him. And Well, realistically I'm probably going to get them both over to Rutland and then I'll deliver this guy and then I'll meet back up with you guys when... I'm delivering the caterpillar, but we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty. Let's get this uh, second oversized container over there and get this delivery done and contract done. Was that the, uh, well, those odometer isn't that like the uh, uh, address for like getting into your router? Something like that.
drop the wheel to get a little bit more stability. Now, uh, I already did, well, I made it with other trucks, so I don't suspect that I should have an issue with this one, but, uh, we'll see when we get there, but, super steep hill that we gotta go up. Route's easy, but, we're going up a very steep hill, so it's probably a good thing we change the tires to highway tires instead of, actually, this one may be all-terrain, but, I don't know the other one is all terrain. This one's on road. But we gotta go up a uh, pretty substantial hill. Uh, however, this can be. Yep. I should have raised the wheel. You can't turn as sharp with the uh, that extra suspension wheel down. I was thinking about that too, is I wonder if you could, uh, like in real life, if you can drop that down, because I'm not a truck driver, but can you drop that down on the fly? Like as, can you like get rolling first, like to have less rolling resistance to get started and then, and then drop down that axle? I mean, I would imagine that's probably, logically that makes the most sense to me, it sounds like that's the way we'd want to do it, so you get less friction when you're first starting. Yeah, the other one I... Yeah, I'll say the other one I put in diff lock. This one actually struggled even more off the get-go, so that's kind of surprising. Kind of expected a... Uh, less of an issue with this one. Maybe I should, uh... Uh-oh. Speaking of which, as I was just saying, I think I'm uh, having an issue because of that wheel. Wow. That was pretty close. Yeah, this guy's certainly having more of a problem than the other guy did. The other guy pulled right up and no problem. This guy's having serious issues. Can't turn. And that other truck, that other truck's much smaller. How is it this too much weight for this thing? <laughs> you wimp, come on. On flat ground you'll pull it like a truck, but apparently you don't like hills. So apparently the caterpillars really do not like hills or like rocks. got to go behind the building again and then back your way out That was that one. Screw that up. Screw that up. 
was turned too much. That other guy can still get out. <laughs> so that would have been our uh, store number two. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll figure out what's next, or I'll figure out what's next. Uh, not the swift response that it says up in the top corner. I usually do my rescue missions uh, last, if at all, unless there's something that is needed for the uh, actual game. So, we'll see. Alright, see y'all later. Goodbye.